Hey guys, this video is part one in a two-part series on using Altium Designer as a beginner. I'll start in this video by making a schematic and in the next video I'll make a PCB layout for the same schematic. Now to get started I'll create a new project to work in. Uh, I'm in the projects tab here. I'll right click and add a new PCB project. In this project I'll add a new schematic by right clicking add new schematic I'm going to choose Add Existing because I've got the schematic I've prepared for this. And this is the schematic that I'm going to work with. So here's the circuit I'm going to be recreating. It's just there as a reference for me. And to move around the schematic, you drag with the right mouse button. And to zoom in and out, we can drag with the middle mouse button like this. And what we see here is that we have a couple of resistors, a couple of capacitors, couple of headers and a chip and by making this I hope I'll be going through the most basic things you'll need to know for uh, for making a simple schematic. Now to get started placing parts I have quite a few options. I can either use the libraries tab here on the left or I can choose the library and look for the components on the side here. That's quite neat or I could use the place part dialog which I can bring up either by clicking here clicking place part or by using the keyboard shortcut P and then P so I'm going to use this for the first components and to look through the library I'm going to click here and this brings up my library selector and browser so the component I want to start with is that integrated circuit and that doesn't exist in any of these default libraries that are included by default so I'll have to find the part in other libraries so I'm gonna type in the the name of the component if you're not sure about the name you can change this to contains and I'm gonna search for that usually you would uh, have to make some components yourself. Um, I, I'm doing that in a separate video which you might want to check out but I'm not doing, doing it here. Here I'll be only basing it on uh, ready parts uh, parts that are already existing in the library. So here's the part I want and I can choose a footprint that I want. You may wonder about what L, M or N means. That's the um, standard suffix for um, uh, showing the, the the pad sizes. Uh, N is nominal which is sort of in the middle and you have M which is most those are the biggest pads you can get and L means least which are the smallest pads you can get and which is good for high density designs and stuff like that. I'm gonna choose the nominal because I'm not making anything special. I'll click OK. And now because because the part I found is not located in the standard installed libraries, I'll have to install this library by just clicking yes. And now I can click OK and place that part, which I'm going to do by clicking there and then right clicking to go back to the place part dialog. You can right click or you can uh, press the escape key. Both of them usually work uh, the same way. So now that I found the 555 chip, I'm now going to look for the resistors and capacitors and headers and place those as well. First I'll find the headers in the MISC connectors library. Header 2 right there. And let's see, I'm going to make P1 first. Uh, I can rotate by pressing space and I can mirror about the X or Y axis by pressing X or Y to get the to flip it the right way and let's see line things up like that I'm done and now I can right click or press escape and it just brings me back to the part selection again now for the resistors let's see that those can be found in, found in MISC devices and 
the one I want is a surface mount resistor res 3 and this is the one, one I want like that again space to rotate and click to place right click to cancel and now I'm gonna click here to find the capacitors again that those can be found in MISC devices uh, for this capacitor I'm not gonna use uh, a component that has the surface mount footprint that I want you see all of these are through hole footprints but I'm gonna use this anyway and show you how to add a, a, a f another footprint to it afterwards so I want to place these like that right click to cancel that and now it looks like I've got all the components I need so I'll cancel and finish up by placing the power ports you see here we have two types of power ports this is the VCC 10 and this is the ground and you find them by the familiar symbols up here VCC for example and by default you see the text here says VCC and to change that before placing I can press tab and specify the, the name that I want for this so I'm gonna OK that and now I can place it wherever I want and you'll notice that the red cross here appears in the junction and that indicates that electrical connection will be made when I place it there so those are the VCC's now I'm gonna place the grounds right there and there and to finish off I need to wire things up so I'm gonna place wire oops undo that I'm gonna place the wire right here now we can change the direction of the uh, bend of the wire here by pressing space like this and there's not much to it uh, besides that you can press backspace to undo a segment and um, yeah besides that it's pretty easy use space to rotate the corner and space and continue like that and I forgot one ground so well I can show that if you want to copy a part you can hold the shift key down and dragging the part you want to copy and that creates the duplicate so one more thing is that <clears throat> if you try to move a component you'll see that the connections don't follow it and that's kind of annoying so what you really want is to hold the control key while you drag something and that keeps everything uh, happy and connected so <coughs> sorry uh, now I can set the component values let's say these two resistors here are gonna be 10k so I can either double click this component and change the value or lots of other things that are not necessarily visible in the schematic um, or I can just click the value here once and then twice and then editing it directly in the schematic the last option is to ch specify the value once you place the component and I can show that with these uh, capacitors um, actually I'll delete them and go into the place part dialog again and yeah use the capacitor that I had and before placing them I'm gonna press tab just like I did with the power port by the way and here I can specify the value of it um, if I remember the values though let's see 300 nanofarads and I will also want to add <coughs> Sorry, I want to add a new f uh, a new footprint because the default footprints here had through all uh, 
through whole footprints. So I'm going to browse for a new footprint and look for the chip capacitor that I want, which is this, I believe. Yeah, chip capacitor 1608. I'll OK this and OK one more time and OK that. And now I can place this part right where it was. And the last one is 0 0.01 microfarad. So I press tab, specify the value, 0 0.01 microfarads. And you see that it remembers the footprint that I chose. I'll press OK and then place that as well. Right click to cancel and cancel that. So it seems I've recreated most of the circuit. Before I finish, I have to give the components unique uh, reference designators names. Right now you see uh, question marks in all the names here. So to do that, I'll go up here on Tools, Annotate Schematics Quietly. That'll do it quick and dirty like that. And I'll save this. And I'm going to end now and take the PCB layout in the next video. Thanks for watching.